G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and thank you very much for joining me once again and for tuning in every week for my silly little videos, very much appreciated. And for no particular reason, I've gone hardcore Aussie this week and I want to show you a fantastic car from a movie that I absolutely love. It is of course the Interceptor from Mad Max and I saw a replica last time I was in Australia and that would be August of this year. Now I did make a midday dash down the Gold Coast to see this car show and I'm so glad I went because this particular car has been on the 2C list forever and no I didn't know it was going to be there and uh, apparently there's a whole bunch of these replica cars going around in Japan. I'm yet to see one but I do know there's at least one in Kyoto and there's a few around the place, one in a restaurant somewhere. So yeah, there are some hardcore Mad Max fans here in Japan and I guess I'm one of them. Now for anyone out there not familiar with the car, I'm gonna assume you know the movie, right? I mean, it's one of the best movies of the year and uh, of all time, quite frankly. But the original car was based on a 1973 XB Ford Falcon GT hardtop. And for those people in the States, if you're looking at the original car the, without the, the Concorde nose, you know, the factory GT, it sort of has the look of the 7123 Ford Mustang up front and then in the body sort of got the Torino sort of thing going on but uh, in my eyes at least the proportions of the Falcon hardtop are way way better sorry now let's talk about some of the Mad Max specific gear on the car now the body kit you know the nose the front bumper was based on a show car from 1977 I think it was at the Melbourne Motor Show and that was a panel van you know back in the late 70s the 70s panel vans were the thing and that panel van had a whole suite of body mods. There's a little ad. And they produce body kits for a whole bunch of Australian cars. Uh, the Tirana, the Monaro, and we're gonna talk about the Monaro a little bit later as well. And let's talk about those little flares on the wheel arches there, based on Tirana A9X flares. Wow, I did not know that. I mean, Australians are like Holden or Ford, which one, or GTFO. But uh, it's a Ford with Holden bits on it, that's going to make lots of people scream. But the Holden this doesn't end there, check out those beautiful spoilers on the roof and the rear. Would you believe they were based on this HQ Monaro, and that is Bob Jane's sports sedan HQ racer from back in the day. Super successful car by the way. Also from the rear you get a good view of the uh, side exiting exhausts, pretty wild. Um, yeah, but all in all, a really great integrated look, looks fantastic. Now up front we've got that 671 Wiend non-functional supercharger, an odd little thing. Certainly it was non-functional in the movie, you know, they push a button and then it spins up, but that's not how superchargers work at all. I believe from the second movie it was a correctly integrated supercharger, fully functional, but uh, the first one was an odd one. Now of course this is based on the Interceptor from the first movie, i.e. when it was tidy. By the time the second movie came around it was really ratty, but uh, check it out. Very very nice. Now my parents had an XB sedan, bright orange it was, kind of like that but a sedan and it had this dash and uh, yeah it's really familiar to me this car and uh, yeah very tidy there's no dog seat there red balloon I don't get it uh, but yeah very very nice so I'm certain there are a couple of these Mad Max interceptor replicas going around Japan and I cannot wait to see one I know it's gonna happen one day so look out for a future video also there was of course that uh, yellow sedan I saw two of them now the first one I saw was up the coast, I saw Adrian, great to meet you Adrian. Oh and Dave as well, saw you Dave. And uh, yeah, good times up there and then I saw the second yellow sedan down the coast park next to the Interceptor, of course. But yeah, I think there are a few of them going around Japan as well, so yeah, Mad Max mad country this is. Now uh, question of the day, uh, advice, I've got some advice for you. Don't buy a heater when you need one, because I need one. and. It's the worst time to get one. Uh, anyway, so please tell me some advice. I'd really appreciate it, okay? So again, thank you so much for joining me and uh, take it easy, everyone. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi, gals and a little bit of wasabi.